Casper the robot is helping break down the social barriers faced by many autistic children. The child-sized humanoid can talk, comb its hair, imitate eating, play the tambourine and sing with the children. Its face was designed to be simple with easy to read expressions. Sometimes adults, uh, they just look at Casper and say, well, it's not really cute, isn't it? And they say, oh, why don't you make it look more nicer, more sleek, maybe like a cartoon character? And then we say, no, we wanted to have a robot that's suitable for children with autism, which means that it has uh, realistic, human-like features, but very much simplified. We need to simplify everything, but it needs to be predictable and ac accurate. And the predictability of it, for the from this child's standpoint, is one of the things that he feels safe. Touch sensors help children learn safe social interaction. If a child is too rough, Casper responds accordingly. Casper has worked with about 170 children over 10 years of development. It's very important to collect these stories because it's very important for us to see what's happened outside the context of the robot. Otherwise, we're just developing a nice toy, fine. But this is not the point. At TRAX, a specialist centre for children with autism, Casper has had a big impact. This includes helping a boy previously unable to eat with his classmates. And then we started doing it with Casper, so, and he really, really enjoyed feeding Casper, um, making him eat when he was hungry, things like that. Um, and now he's starting to kind of integrate into the classroom and eat alongside his peers. So things like that that we've seen are just massive, is just massive progression. Casper is remote controlled. A teacher or therapist is always involved. So far they've built 28 Casper prototypes and are seeking investment to get the robot into every school, home or clinic that needs one. Britain's NHS and National Institute for Health Research is conducting a controlled clinical trial with Casper and 40 children, scheduled to run until November next year.